have because now with well, I hope you read the title by now um you will know I'm doing a Leicester City career mode so just exit online football I'm in FIFA sorry I've been playing um earlier on before stream um we go select manager I mean I know this is a bit of a pain in the backside but won't take me this long to finish it out actually yeah 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 i mean this um filling out shouldn't take too long so just bear with me a minute while i'm filling all the credentials right yeah advance go yeah lester yeah yeah all of them seem to be fine advance and now we just wait for what is known as the day and age um, of loading that is known experienced every single time you start a new season on a career mode it also takes day and age and it's really not needed which is the annoying bit about it Seriously, that was just my phone in the background. If you heard some screaming, that was just my phone in the background. Looks like we're ready in a minute. And you're on. Time to win for this to be. Slow Lord, right there. And bang. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to move right that and I'll be able to remember which one it is, even though it's named absolutely nothing to do with my, um, Lester's career mode. Right then, we're going in the European Shield. Prize is 8.73 million. Right then, we'll get stuck in a group with Leicester. Um, also, we don't get stuck in a group with Leicester because we're Leicester. So it's Milan, Dortmund and Benfica. Right, let's see, first things first, what is my transfer budget looking like? 43 million. Objectives are to win the cup in the Europa League and the FA Cup. First things first, I'm just gonna get um, a couple of players in through the door. And I can think of one straight away that I tend to use in career modes off off camera because he only costs about 13 million. So I'm just gonna bring Zlatan Ibrahimovic to the club. Let's do these note negotiations. I mean, if it was a video and I did it and I did it these, you would know. You will know um, how everything went behind the scenes, but that's only because I'm streaming. If you weren't, if you weren't streaming, I was video editing. You wouldn't see all of this, but we'll just we'll just be able to quickly see these offers. Twenty mil for Zlatan. And so just go. We were everything. Two years, second one is about 40. If he doesn't retire before then. And it's us offering. I want to see if we'll take a bit of a pay cut actually. So if he'll go about 45, but then offer 800k signing on just to maybe. Soften the deal up a bit. Ah. Right then. One thing is in a valuable lesson from this. Don't dare give Zlatan a fair cut. And so he's not going to come to the club. Oh, that, that, that was a shame, no? Because he was a quality striker. For such a cheap price. And then we've only got 40 million. Don't give us a lot of bending room. Actually, actually, I mean, I might just look at the squad. Right, 
Right, so we're, all, we're already playing with five at the back, which is what I would like. Might get someone to play as Castanula. So I ideally need a left back. What I'm looking at, uh, right then, left backs. Uh, left backs. I don't, that shouldn't cost too much. That's still decent. I don't know, like, I might actually, you know what I'm. How much is Ben Chilwell worth? Is he's got he's got really his quality perfect. So I don't think Ben Chilwell will have actually played a game for Chelsea in the screen mode because I'm just gonna buy him straight back. Oh, and it's just said he's got a release clause but I'm going in negotiations. So I don't understand. I might have to offer pretty much the entire transfer budget here. Yeah? Forty mil. Right, let's see if I puzzle exchange player. Who do I have that I can give to him? Actually, yeah, I think um might have to get rid of Harvey Barnes. Because I don't think I'll take any other wingers. Oh look at no, I don't want full backs. Actually he's the one I'm looking to sell. So I might submit him, and if they say no... Oh yeah! yeah. That's what they've actually said, because I wanted to get rid of Castagna and bring in Chilwell. And so that's what I've done. A nice little swap deal uh, means we're saving a bit of money. I mean, we don't, we still don't have enough to make any other signings, but I've, I think I've improved on that defence. He's young as well, so... He's young, so it'll, um, so he'll have some a lot of time left in him. Try to think the right words there, hence why I repeat myself. Mm, seems reasonable. Except, come on. Right then, welcome to the club with Ben Chilwell. Now what, Leicester? Oh God, I've realised what an opportunity to be in for me to get. Um, blooming. Um, what do you call him? Um, a damn train, are we? Right, so well, it actually slotted in there straight away with the selling of um, Castagna. I'm actually going to bring James Justin on the bench for Thomas, because I don't think he'll be getting a game in. Right, and I'm not going to play the pre season tournament. I'm just gonna sim. I'm gonna sim the pre-season tournament. See where we get to. Why is this taking so long? For God's sake, it's a rest day. Can we move around them? Oh God, this is with a bit of pace, please. Group of death. Last two options. We need to win at these next two games to have a chance of progressing. We lose 2 0, so we'll crash out the competition. Right then, at least this pre season friendly has given us has, um, given us ideas on how to strengthen the squad. Oh, there was a Pereira offer there. Oh, that would have been good if it had. Seen it, but it's my own fault for some pre for some the pre season time. And I'm not going to deny that because um, I know it's my own fault for some pre season time. Hello, we've got 10 million in the transfer budget, I believe. So we can sign actually. I need to uh, see. Who's cheaper, Shakiri or um, one matter? One matter's the um, cheaper of the two. 
11 million. So if I can offer 10.5 for one matter. And selling DD, I can make some profit, you know. Actually, I might have to put DD in the transfer list first, just so I know I've got enough cash to fulfill um, the deal going through, which is what I want to happen with Fred and DD. I'm sorry, but I'm on the transfer list. Yeah. Transfer to Wolford and Dini and Chowdhury. Because I think Chowdhury's alright, I just don't see him getting a game if we're bringing one man. Chowdhury's a bit surprised. Um, I think that we're selling him, but I think it's just for the best. Because if we're bringing one matter in, he's, he's not going to get a game in the midfield with one matter and Telemans. Both NDD and Chowdhury are a bit surprised. I want to ask with them. So I can't guarantee your games because if you look at the likes of Juan Mata and Yuri Telemans, to me it's guaranteed to know who's starting. See, it's easy. No, so it's for me. It's easy just to see who will be starting. I'm making a loan offer. No, sorry. I'm out here, so I'm not absolutely butchering his name. He's gone out on loan to Getafe. And I'm just looking at go a couple of days. So I'm just looking at go a couple of days so transfer doctors can come rolling in. Um, and as I say that, we've got one for Tankers under. Juventus are after him. God. Of course, yeah, I'm going to try and push for 20 mil. Because we'll get 20 mil and sell the other two. It'll give us a bit more fun to put off future transfers. So, um, bang. Bang. Twenty mil, sixteen point three. All right. You know what? I might be able to come with a, um, might be able to come with a, with a compromise. I've got seventeen mil, and get rid of the salon clause. That seemed to work. That's worked. So if he goes, we'll have another fair bit in the bank. Just need a sim wait for offers to come in. Also, Correa's gone to Liverpool. Is that Manuel Lanzini? Have I literally just seen Manuel Lanzini go to Brighton? Yeah. Atletico Madrid go for Wijnaldum. Then Carvajal goes to Chelsea. Dortmund assigned Stones. Oh. Oh, can people just right? Why don't people give me blooming offers for players I want to blooming let go, man? It's not rocket science. I right, undersold. How much do we get in the bank for that? Fourteen mil. I don't want um I'm not going for much longer really. Because I know the season could be starting shortly. So if I can get them out then um yeah, that's even better. I also Perez fourteen point five. I might Oh god, I, I think first accept. Right, this one I'm gonna go negotiate. I meant to like up it, I meant to go negotiate to accept like six mil, but I accidentally pressed accept. 
But for this, I am literally just going to go. Fifteen minutes. Just open it slightly, and that might. And I'm going to say you have to come around. I'm only offering. I'm only offering. Opening up by about what five thousand grand. So 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 not five thousand grand because that is not a number. I mean um, five grand. Right, Napoli. Where is that? Somebody from Benfica never heard of him. You squad monthly report. Oh, look at that first game of the season. It's coming up shortly. Hang on, I'm actually going to go to the calendar and see where it is. Well, that Ayose Perez is gone. How much does that allocate those so I can um, make? Actually. I think this. I'm, I'm gonna get in both. I'm gonna get in. I know the Perez, but I've got to get in um, Kai and Prince. As well, I've only just seen that there from the scout report. That's why I was stopped midway through speaking how much we got. That's allocated 12,000, that's allocated 4.3. Um, 46 million now, alright. Alright then. I have to get both in. I'm saying this because I've got a transfer, I've got a transfer hope. I saw Kai and Prince there. He's 29 year old. Um, but if you don't know the story of Kai and Prince, he was at the QPR Academy. He was a promising footballer. But in stopping a fight from breaking out, there was a somebody with a knife trying to attack a younger person, I want to say. And in trying to stop um, the fight from breaking out, he tragically got stabbed and subsequently died. And that's what, and then QPR renamed their stadium Kai and Prince Foundation after the charity that his family set up. And in FIFA 21, he decided to put him in the game. Kai and Prince, I think he's gonna be good. Bet for cup games. So let's bring him in. I'm looking up. 15 mil. Because he's gone from QPR, so I'd imagine doing something like 15 mil. And there we go, I might just be about to Kai and Prince. You can just line as a backup strike if needed. Counting it important. So yeah, I'm gonna give him a three. I know it's like counting and everything when I don't have to, but it just doesn't seem to be fair. Oh god, so we'll accept, accept, bang. Mm, I've got ten goals. Yeah, it seems to be alright. Fairly reasonable. Right, let's go. Yeah. Depends get from negotiations because well, I might be able to pay the release clause, do the wages, and I'll have one matter slung in that midfield. Count it is going to be crucial. Three year deal? Yeah. Uh, I ain't thirty two any. Count the two. Let's go two years. Gonna give him gonna up his wages ever so slightly. Ninety and then two. Actual goal about ten goals. Add another 200 on there. You accept. And there we go, one matters in. Just slot these players in my team a lot, actually. Right, right. what are these ratings? Because Time Prince might actually. He could actually slot slot on the bench. 
Because you only just lower it on, on it ever so slightly. Um, no, no, I don't mean to put it in that many, one matter. Um, because ever just so slightly lower than in overall, then, um, in your natural. And I would fancy in that, actually, you know what? I said I would fancy in your natural front. I decided, just for one game, see what he's like. Um, gonna put him on. For a game, so. How many blooming just in order my first league game when actually I was just sort of coming through. Buy a Munich one more for an MDD. Cardo Pereira. Actually hang on, hang on, hang on. I think they've just gone completely off track here. Wesley for Furness, got Spurs, buying one for an MDD. Wesley Fafana sent the back here to not even accept. Because I think he's a fairly decent enough player. But um, Wesley Fafana, but if I can just give him a. If I can just sell him and um, get. If we can just get out to Spurs, then we'll get a bit more money out to. Uh... I'll get him out to Spurs, whereas he could be a. It could have been a decent defender, I'd say. But, um. Actually, this could work out really nicely. I'm I, I sorry, I keep, I keep going off track in this. Um, I was saying, we can get um, Forfana out. Maybe later on, transfer window by another defender. Maybe David Alaba or something, because at this rate we'll have funds. Also, we might actually be able to have funds for. So might be able to have some further funds if we sell collectively in natural to Lazio. Get a bit more money in, and with me signing Kyan Prince, he's only just lower rated than Ian Nacho. And then we can slot him next to Jamie Vardy, and, that, and then that could be us for the rest of the season. Like, I'm just gonna go 15 mil. I well, they want 12.2 with 1% sell on clause. What's the point in giving us a sell on clause? If you're gonna, um, what's the point of the salon clause? It's only 1%. I've got 13 mil free in actual. If all of these go through, then we'll have an extra bit of money in the bank and maybe just lighten up, um, not lighten up, um, not lighten up, sorry, and um, get better defenders in for what I've got. Oh, thank you all for joining us. We'll start taking questions now. It's pre-season provided for the real thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Point asking is, can we qualify for the Champions League? Yeah, yeah. So I've said probably yes. And that I mean, I know that wasn't really much time for you to read the question, so. I do apologize, but I was just getting it through. But I was just getting through it actually fairly quickly. Team management, yeah, it's the team I've s set up earlier on. For and on the thing when I signed Prince and Matter, uh, yeah, 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 one matter. So we'll go to play match. Maybe after this game, look at strengthening up with a defender. Just go through this training drill here. So yeah, see, 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 see. Ya. There you go. So in there, right. Right then, okay, there's a man there. No, I actually pressed through ball for both of them. That's actually quite annoying. Oh, I've just been on. I that somebody's watching this stream. No idea who. Because I can't see right now. Also, whoever's watching the stream, can you just, um. 
Sam, you can't play so I know he's watching. Thanks. I'm going to check in a minute actually because I'm going to let the line roll across the screen. Why does it take so long for doing my issue there? I go bang. One of this is playing on the screen. Check who's watching. Focus on this man. Amid rumours that he's leaving the club, he starts today live on EA TV. Can I just say Willie for finding Johnny Stone because he's gone yet? I'm looking at Stone for not. And hello from one of the newer venues in English football, the Amex Stadium on the south coast. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary box is Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. The Leicester, the Leicester, uh, not the Leicester, I think it's the Brian fan in good voice actually, at the Annex, I think it's in the Annex, hang on, hang on, I don't, hang on, I have a house in the Annex if we're playing our way, kit, boy, yeah, 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 sorry, that was just me mental mistake, ignore that. Right, right, let's look at this Brighton team. They haven't actually made too many signs, I don't think. Apart from one more Lanzini, I've seen Lanzini go. I don't know that at dawn, but apart from that, I don't know if they've actually made any new signings or what. I mean, you know how I last, you know how I line up, but um, that's what I'm going to um, but I'll still show it. See, fair things going in a little huddle before the kick off, and Brighton should be about to go underway. Right then, Brighton has got us underway, yeah? Then yeah, Warpie found, finds Lanzini, Lanzini now. Crowding good voice, Lanzini, still going good, tackling there by Leicester. Only stars Adorn. Adorn still carries on. Lanzini, good challenge there by Leicester. And just three ball hits the um, Brighton man and the ring gather. Adam Milana, Manuel Lanzini, oh god. Lanzini's in here and his shot saved by Schmeichel. Ben Chilwell finds one matter. One matter, Kyan Prince. Kyan Prince still got it. Through Bourne and Jamie Vardy. Uh, and there was some appeals there from the fans for being a free kick, but they weren't that, but they weren't, but they weren't that much in it, I should say. Neil Morpai. Adorn. Oh god, advantage played, terrible challenge there by the Leicester man. On Milana now. Good block in there by Ben Chilwell. Milana finds Adorn here though. Adorn has shot saved by Schmeichel, Pereira clears. And Jamie Vardy. This is Kyan Prince. Kyan Prince now. Turns. Madison. Oh, and he just can't hit it before the uh, Brighton defence. Uh, before the Brighton defence gets there, Manuel Lanzini finds a dawn. Actually, I don't found a dawn because the last man tackled him there. Let's just look at the Brighton attack. More pie. No, 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 sorry. It was Lanzini there. Um, Adorni then Lanzini. Sorry. And then is that? The offside against is that Anulana? It's just stretch offside. I me. Mean, it looks like Anulana, but I could be wrong. Anyway, Casper Schmeichel now to take the free kick. Short to Sayuntu. Sayuntu find Ben Chilwell. Ben Chilwell in only one matter. Madison, Yuri Tielemans. Tielemans is through born Ricardo Pereira. 
Um, Leicester win the throwing though. Pereira now. Goes short to Tielemans. You know, Tielemans passes won back by Brian. It, well, intercepted by Brian, sorry. Lanzini. March finds Mope. Mope into uh, Basuma. Basuma with, a, with what would have been a lovely ball if um, Tyrone Lampney could get there, but sadly for Brighton fans, he could not. Because Manus had to take the throw and shot to Ben Chilwell. Ben Chilwell now. Turns. Turns past his man there. Again, Ben Chilwell. Chilwell finds Madison. Kind Prince. Prince into Chilwell. Chilwell into Vardy. Prince again. Madison. There's Madison. Trying to run past the Brighton defence, but, the, but there's two sort. Trying to run past the Brighton defence, but, the, but Brighton is solid in the back there, and they're coming with the ball. Neil Mope now. Good ball out to Sonny March. Sonny March has to win the ball in, surely. No, instead he opts to coin Sarah for finding Basuma. Basuma. Now, I think Basuma is still going on. His shot takes a deflection. Shot takes a deflection from. Basuma shot takes a deflection. Cornet kick to Brighton and Hovalbion. Lalana whips in. Not properly clear by Leicester. Pafana. Find Sayuntu. Sayuntu gives it away. And then um and then the Brighton shot was saved uh, by Casper Schmeichel. Schmeichel finds Chilwell. Chilwell into Madison. Prince, Kai and Prince now. And Jamie Vardy. Oh and his um Jamie Vardy's two balls intercepted. Near Morpai now. Finds Adam Lalana. Adam Lalana. Why is Casper Schmeichel come running out? Casper Schmeichel's come running out for some reason and it's Brighton Hove Albion 1, Leicester City 0. That's a goal that really set the cat amongst the pigeons. I mean Casper Schmeichel... I mean, Casper Schmeichel, he just comes running out and leaves his near post unguarded. And the line takes full advantage. At 29 minutes, Brighton 1, Leicester City 0. Ben Chilwell finds Juan Mata. Juan Mata in a Kai and Prince. Kai and Prince, no, no options around him, runs into a Brighton man. Neil Morpai now. Adorne finds on Lani. He's already scored one goal today. Lani finds Terry Clampdy. Tarek Lamdi now. Oh, I thought I thought he was gonna give it away there, but but it but it but it found his team here, and but then but then Adonis shot was blocked. Shot blocked. Kai and Prince now. Kai and Prince. He's scored on his debut. Kai and Prince, the 29-year-old striker, just equalised for Leicester on his debut. He come from QPR to Leicester, pick wondering, can he step up to the big lanes? He's signed those doubters there. It's Brighton one, Leicester one. Once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. It's only gone quite on the annex now as all the Brighton fans have stopped singing. You just hear the faint sounds of the Leicester um, fans in the background. Neil Morpai now for Brighton. Finds finds Adorno. Adorno in Emmanuel Lanzini. A Brighton player speaks in his debut you now. Good tackling about Wesley Fafana. Kai and Prince. Through one and Jamie Vardy. But Sanchez gets there before Vardy can. But Sanchez gets there before Vardy, sorry. Sion two wins his head up and gives it away. Basuma finds Adorno. Neil Morpai now. New Morpai finds Adorne. Adorne in the Morpai. Got tackling there by Silent True. Silent True's through ball to Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy now. And then that's a second goal for Leicester as they come from behind. That's a second goal for Leicester as they come from behind. He's now Brighton 1, Leicester 2, Leicester surely with all the momentum now. Good run, by, good run by Jamie Vardy. But then, but then, how can Sanchez keep getting his near post there? I, I have absolutely no idea. 
But all that matters for Leicester fans is Brighton 1, Leicester 2. Well, the manager's showing signs of frustration. They need to improve if they're going to get something out of this game, Derek. Well, 2 1 it is here. Leicester City goal, number 9, Jamie Vardy. Basuma now finds Neil Morpai. Neil Morpai now finds Adam Lallana. Adam Lallana, it, it would do on here. Tackle in there, but um, Brighton still have it. John, 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 Johnny Evans, Johnny Evans, sorry, and it's up to the pass. But then, but then, but then Brighton have it back. And we're at two minutes of out of time when we're in the first half. One matter. To gives it away. Well, actually, well, actually, Dunga was possibly intercepted. Sorry. Well, we did give it away. Lanzini finds Neil Morpai. Neil Morpai's ball across, and that's a good interception in there by Leicester. There. Lanzini, though, still a good tackle in there. Slightly too finds Tielem, and in the halftime whistle blows on the annex. Halftime here, in the, and the annex is Brighton one, Leicester two. That's when all the games last lane Sheffield United by two goals to nil. Wolves drawn with Everton one one and Southampton getting beat by Liverpool again by two goals to nil. Anyway, the second half is back underway. And so that I'm surprised with is Brighton have made a sub, but it's Adam Lallana coming off for proper. But Adam Lallana but Adam Alana has been one of the key influential players in the first half and he's come off. I'm no idea what Graham Potton thinks that maybe he's tired, I have no idea. But anyway, but anyway that could be a positive for Leicester though as their key man has been subbed off. James Madison now for Leicester, finds Kyan Prince. Kyan Prince looking for Jimmy Vardy's pass intercepted. Proper finds Adorne. Adorne finds no more pie. More pine eye finds Manuel Lanzini. Manuel Lanzini. Let's let's throw the ball back though with um, Pereira. Pereira now gives it away, but um, but so much runs in to make the tackle, but 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 in doing so he runs it out for a uh, Leicester throw. Taylor and takes a throw and short to Prince. Good tackle in there by Sonny March. March finds Basuma. But Sigma finds Matt. Ain't it Neil Morpai? Neil Morpai finds Adorne. Lanzini now. Good tackle in there by Leicester. Adorne. Lanzini. Another good tackle in there. But proper now. Oh, and then that shot was. Oh, and then that shot from Neil Morpai, I think, was blocked and it goes out for a Brighton corner kick. Terry Clamdy to take. Lamdi looks in towards Veltman and the head is just wide the post. There are Kasper Schmeichel stretching but it's just, I mean the, I mean the header, the shot had Kasper Schmeichel um, um, stretching, stretching but it was just off target there. Neil Morpai now, good tackling there by Wesley Fofana. And Kasper Schmeichel collects, Schmeichel goes long towards Prince. Prince, however, Veltman. Well, Veltman wins it back for Brighton as Prince was nowhere to be seen. March. In a more pie. Lanzini. Adorne. Adorne shot blocked. Manuel Lanzini. Good tackling there by Sayonchu. Lanzini slows it though before Madison wins it back. Madison's pass intercepted. Oh, good shot by that. Good shot by Brighton, and he and it, and it fairly decent save by Casper Schmeichel. And we're Brighton have it back. Another good block in there by Leicester. To make it two-two, and Brighton, and Brighton have the goal they deserve. And it's Brighton two, Leicester two. Phil Madison finds Telemans. Telemans in it chill well. Finds Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy in a Kyan Prince. Good tackling there by Brighton. March finds Lanzini. 
A Donny. More people on the Donny. Donny, a proper. Good tackle in there by Leicester. Leicester. Evans finds Prince. Kyan Prince now turns past one man. Still got it, Kyan Prince. Kyan Prince goes for goal, is shot blocked. Proper. More pie. Neil more pie finds proper. Tara Clampdy now. Good tackling there by Leicester. Look at that play for Brighton throw. Adorni comes off for Brighton to be played by Danny Welbeck. We're seeing me now. Finds Neil more pie. Neil more pie now. Finds Veltman. Good blocking there, I was leave a final, but Veltman wins it back. Right. Finds Basuma. Lanzini. Finds Welbeck. Into Morpai. Good tackling there by Leicester. Fafana into Tielemans. Tielemans into Kai and Prince. Oh, and then Kai and Prince give, managed to give it away there. Yui Tielemans. So we want the Prince, Jamie Vardy now. And Jamie Vardy shot and he's put it wide. I think Jamie Vardy should have scored that there. Put him um, left a three-two up against Brighton. And speaking of Brighton, Lanzini has come off, and a sub for Brighton only be replaced by um, Tau. St. Mary's Alan McAnally can fill us in. Martin now. In a Madison. Well then uh Bright but then but then Brighton have it back. Danny Well back now. In a Neil Moore pie. Good tackling there by Danny Evans, Brighton throw. Tau. Wellbeck. Tau again. Neil Moore pie. Finds Tau. Wellbeck. Proper. Proper shot straight to the hands of Kasper Schmeichel. Kasper Schmeichel goes long again towards Prince. Prince yet again nowhere to be seen. And Veltman... I thought Veltman was going to get the ball there, but until he lets it run for a Brighton throw. Veltman goes long with the throw. Um, and then the header down for him, the throw finds White. Tau. You're seeing me now. Neil Morpai. And then in the last seven minutes of the game here. Tau. Well back into proper. Basuma. Good block in there by Leicester. Madison gives it away. Basuma now. Sonny March. Finds Tara Clampdy. Brian working away. Just trying to find an opening. Proper. March. Ball in. Then the header from Danny Welbeck's in. In the 86th minute, Brighton look to have the winner. It's Brighton 3, Leicester 2. It didn't look like anything was going to come of that cross, actually. Danny Welbeck in the 87th minute makes it Brighton 3, Leicester 2. Kyan Prince finds Jamie Vardy in a Madison. Madison and back into Jamie Vardy. Let's rapidly run out of town now, but Ricardo Pereira now in a one matter. One matter and a Ben Chilwell. Chilwell and a Prince. Prince back into Vardy. Vardy shot and it's wide. High and wide and all there are really. Sanjay take the goal kick now. Shot to Veltman. Three minutes of injury time now. Ben White finds Basuma. Danny Welbeck. Oh. Wesley Fafana now. Fafana gives it away. Oh God. Danny Welbeck now. To seal the game. Good save by Schmeichel. Leicester clear and that's the full arm whistle. Brighton have provided a shock win. Brighton provide I mean sorry so so 
Oh, sorry, Brighton. So oh, sorry, Brighton have provided a shock win in the Amex, and it finishes Brighton three, at Leicester City two. Ah, that's nice and quiet now. Arsenal end up winning four one, at Evan end up winning two one, and Liverpool end up winning three one elsewhere. I've got another. I'm probably going to be streaming for like another thirty five minutes. Want to kick off the defeat? Um, I hope it's possibly patient because. Because not everything happens straight away. No further questions. Right then. Well, 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 Wilfred and Didi has gone to uh, Bayern Munich. So it looks like. 60 million to spend now. And I'm looking at going for world class defender. In the games he played, he was quite instrumental in England reaching the Euros final. In the game he played. He's a centre back, and we just can't afford to keep losing goals. And um, well, so I can't see any goals and losing games. And we are high Maguire. Actually, actually, I might see if the. I'm gonna keep him short. I'm, I'm gonna keep him shortlisted. I'm gonna see what what comes of the other transfers. Because actually, I'm not thinking of High Maguire. I was going to go with High Maguire. Thought of. I've got three candidates here. And I'm not sure which I want to go for. Uh, Ian Actual has been sold. To make some of a kind prince. Um, like right, there's three I want to go for you. Hi Maguire, Trent Alexander-Arnold, or David Alaba. How much money do I have? Actually, 96 million. So... I'll see how much Alan was worth. And actually, I've just seen somebody there. If, if I switch to a formation with wing backs, I might go with um, Angelino, but he's on loan, so. Right, Alan was 28 million. And if Alan was 28 million. How much is Trent? I think he Trent's in the hundreds. So we would effectively be blowing our entire transfer budget. On Alexander Arnold. 87 million, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Trent Alexander Arnold's just out of our range for now. However, if I get a change of formation, I'm looking to bring in two signings now. One of them. One of them I will be very fond of because I'm I'm a middle fan, as some of you will know. Well you should know. Because I'm very open about who I support. And in the period he was at the Teesside Club, he was alright. He has good pace on him, very good pace on him. If I utilise a formation with wingers, I can try and get in both Adam Traore and David Alaba, but that would be my both signs gone. That would be both signs gone if I win it. I think that would be my full sign of the transfer window gone if I do this.
So I'm gonna start the asking price about 50 million. Uh, and yeah, they're happy with that. Bring in the club, it utilizes a formation with the wingers. Three year contract. And like that. That's their wages, I think I'll agree with that. And actually, before I make this David Alaba signing, I'm going to see if there's been any cup draws being made yet. I can't remember the cup. I mean, we won't be in on the second round because. Th no, third round actually. God, is that a way in qualifying? Oh no! Oh, that's not actually qualifying. Right, and so we've got an interesting um your know, league group just looking at the fixtures. First game's not um next month so actually I am gonna see um what draws we made for cup games and do um your know, playing I'm gonna look at the, the groups quickly. Roma uh, yeah all of them lot. St. Johnson have made it in. West Brom have made it, alright. Interesting. Arsenal. Napoli. Yeah, it's pretty much what you'd expect. Carabao Cup. First round has already been played. There's one team I'm looking for here, and it's the Bora. Can I support the Bora? I will keep looking at their draws throughout this career mode. And if through the second round, beat Lincoln, one nil. So we will. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to simulate the training drill. A uh, couple of days now until our next game, so I'm gonna try and push in. Send David Alaba now, so you can be in for our next game. Somewhere here, I think. There he is. David Albert, 28 year old defender. He's valued at 28 million. So let's start negotiations. Start the asking price at 35 mil. Surely they might, they might accept this. I want to say they might accept it because his value is 28. So. Yeah, and they do. So, we'll actually, if we get Mr. Both World, if he's allowed to formation of wing backs, I don't actually need uh, wingers. Because Tony Orkin plays a right wing back. And then I'm just gonna a five finger grand advance and a further finger grand if you get fifteen clean sheets. And yeah, that's David Oliver through the door. Actually, I might want to utilize the formation with wingers. I'll see what they are. Ideally, I want to play a five at the back. I mean, you might call me for being defensive, but. Oh, the first club doesn't play in the FIFA tournament. I have been trying five at the back, and things seem to be going well. I try, I won't be able to fit in the right back, will he? So we'll go. Bang, where is he? Right formations. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, that seems to be decent enough. I'll have it in there. Do 
James Justin can go there, and where is he? A down the driveway, he plays a right wing back, and also Pereira. On. You won't let me play someone who's registered as a right wing back as well. You want to be playing the right wing back? Oh god, that's probably cocked up our. Formation I want to use 4 5 1. I have to go fast for one thing for this to work. But I need two up front because kind prints to me is pretty much a guaranteed first team. I know, so I might have to go there. I'm not putting back up. Right back, I'm just going to experiment with formations here. Wait, well, this actually might work. So I've got playing in a more present advanced position. Where's the damn trail already gone? Oh, it's gone there. Pereira. Um, and Kyan Prince in there. And that's. That's gonna be my team for the Wolves game. Following those signings there. All those signings there. All those signings there, we've fit them in fairly well, and that's probably what I might be looking at for the rest of the season. I don't know. And then Wolves. At the King Power for the first home game of the season. Let's do this. So I just typed something in while I am I'm waiting. So I want to see who's watching my stream. Well, we've been doing for some minutes. I'm crossing in anywhere. I'm just seeing if anyone wants to my stream or not. I wasn't quite sure. Speculation. The deal is finally done, and we're just minutes away from seeing his debut. Can he live up to the? I'm just checking who, if any, if anyone was watching my stream, but it doesn't look like it. And this is the scene here at the King Power Stadium. In the last of fans make the last of fans making all the, new, the noise here at the King Power. Can the last of fans, close the fans, get behind, get behind their home team, and can Leicester get their first win of the season against Wolves? Yeah, thank you, Derek. Lovely to be here. I can't wait for this one. A nice, quick tempo from both sides will be ideal for me. Let's hope we get that. Should be a great game. Uh, some consistent uploads. I mean, some of these uploads might not be consistent because I'm a season ticket holder for Middlesbrough. And obviously, with my games, and um, again, I've got a season ticket holder. That affects my um, stream schedule, so I actually don't. Uploads will be, uh, might not be consistent, but I'll try and get as many episodes of this out as I can in the near future. I want to just notice like, all the um, players saying um, 
Good luck with the game then, that's a nice like, touch, like one and three like that, actually. Now from the five, two, three, um, Raul Jimenez, probably the one to look at, Ruben Nevers and Dendonka, I mean, actually this would be a diamond throwing up playing against his former club, I've only just realised that, because we're bottom from Wolves. So, so, can Leicester get their first win of the season against Wolves? Only one way to find out. Let the game begin. And this confrontation is underway. David Oliver now. Finds James Justin out wide. Justin. James Justin lays off to Chilwell. Chilwell finds Jamie Vardy. Wolves win it back though with a high pressing style. Cody finds Dendonka. Dendonka goes long towards Neto and keeps it in. Neto's born in and by lock, blocked by the last man. Call and kick Wolves. Ruben Neves to take. Ben I think the one who blocked the cross. Just backing in. Unless eventually clear. I mean, I say eventually the one who um, blocked the cross is backing in the box. Or just backing in. So make it clear he's backing in the box. Raul Jimenez takes the shot and he's tipped it wide. Casper Schmeichel gives it away to Poor Dense. Poor Dense now. But, but Schmeichel, but Schmeichel makes amends for his early mistake. And makes the save to now Poor Dense. Wolves we'll, 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 we'll whip the corner in, but Jamie Vardy is dispossessed. Ruben Neves. He's given a penalty for that. He's given a penalty for that, and after seven minutes, Wolves. Wolves have a lifeline. Wolves have a lifeline to go one nil up here. Raul Jimenez now versus Casper Schmeichel. And um, and Raul Jimenez is the winner in that battle. It's less than nil. Wolves won. No good stop by the Foxes at all um, to their season. So I'm just looking down so, for some in so my headphones might fall off, but nah. So, I mean, I went to stay still um, so I could see where it was going, but then he just absolutely smashed in the top car. I didn't really have a chance. And it's less than no walls one. I almost hit myself from the thumb of my controller. Now I'll hit my head after eight minutes, but walls one nil up falling a penalty. Yuri Tielemans now. Finds Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy would, would probably like no men to go for you. Still, 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 still manages to keep it. And Jamie Vardy equalises two minutes later. Strip. Straight from kickoff, he already had the ball. He didn't really have any options, but he doesn't need him. He ran and ran and ran through the defenders like they weren't even there, and smashes it past Patricio. He already gives gives uh, Rupert to absolutely no chance. He's smashing the back of the net. Leicester one, Wolves one. Second goal of the season in the league for Jamie Vardy. Leicester City goal, number nine, Jamie Vardy. Martinez now finds Neto. Neto <laughs> to Jimenez, Raul Jimenez now. Good tackle in there by James Justin, but Raul Jimenez. But Raul Jimenez wins it back. Oh, goal keep me from Casper Schrenkel, is he? Uh, he managed to leap on the shot and then, 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 the ball for launching out for a wolf throwing. Johnny finds Dendonka. Dendonka finds Poor Dents. Poor Dents now. Good tackle in there by Leicester. Um, in particular, in Johnny Evans. And it got that play for Wolf's corner. Will hit the corner shot to Poor Dents, and then Poor Dents is shot high in the sign that in. Casper Schmeichel goes long looking for Prince. Prince can't win his header, and Wolves will get the ball. Then Donka flicks it on to Jimenez. Jimenez is shot just wide, just wide the left hand post. 
Raul, um, I'm gonna say Raul Jimenez now. But it, but it wasn't, it, it was David Alba. Um, Adama Traor right now, because I was looking at the wrong side. Adama Traor right now. Utilizes his pace, turns past one. Still got it, Traor here, but his shot's blocked. Corner kick, Leicester. Mine is in place, it's short to one matter. One matter lifts the ball towards Vardy, and Wolves clear. Adama Traor right there. Um, knocks. Adam Traor knock, knocks on for two well and shot is blocked. James Madison now. Thinks they're looking for Prince, but Wolves have it back and they eventually get out of harm's way. Um, David Alaba wins it back though. Finds Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy goes for goal, shot blocked. David Alaba now. He goes for goal, which is that's what he could do so. So, I mean, I mean, he could say he's trying really. Nelson Semedo now for Wolves. Finds Connor Cordy. Connor Cordy and uh, um, Neves. Never sent around Jimenez. James Justin now. The oh, and then the through ball. And the through ball for Prince was a pull one wall to have it back. Neves finds Den Donker. Den Donker into Jimenez. Neves finds Neto. But, the, but then Neto's just offside. That'll be a free kick to Leicester. James Justin to take. It doesn't go short to Madison, he goes short to Madison. Madison into Vardy. Vardy looking for Triore, but his pass was poor. Poor Dens finds then Donker. Raul Jimenez, I think it was poor Dens anyway. Raul Jimenez now. Still got the ball. Raul Jimenez cuts it back. Raul Jimenez cuts it back and then the shot's blocked and it'll be left at uh, Wolves corner. Ruben Neves whips it in. Ruben Neves whips it in and it's headed clear by Leicester. Again, Neves takes the corner shot to Poor Dent. Poor Dent whips it in towards Den Dunker, whose volley's high and wide and not very handsome over the bar. Kasper Schmeichel finds David Alba from the goal kick. David Alba through Warren Traore. Trying all right now. Good tackling there by Wolves with the winning back. Johnny plays back to his keeper with Patricio. Patricio finds Connor Cody and lumps it out rather needlessly, it has to be said, for a Leicester throw. Jamie Vardy finds James Madison. Jim Madison goes for goal and the, sh the shot saved by Rupert Patricio. James Dustin finds the bad pass to escape Casper Schmeichel. Casper Schmeichel tries to find a new team but gives it away instead. Poor Dance has got the pace. Now, now can he win the crossing? Yes, he can. But the volley, but the volley on the edge of the box is just wide from Wolves from Dendonka. One from Dendonka is just wide. The post goal kick Leicester. Ah, uh, can't say just why. I didn't mean you want the great shots to be fair. Because Schmeichel goes long um, with, 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 with the goal kick. Looking for Prince. Prince finds James Madison now. Madison finds Adama Traore. Adama Traore sells one man. Adama Traore to whip it into Prince. Oh, and then his volley saved it. Um, and then his volley saved it at point blank range. Johnny Evans finds Ben Chilwell. Ben Chilwell and Akai and Prince. Good tackling there by by Mark Wolves and as Dendonka finds Neto. Of chances, but can they make it count? Neto finds Jimenez. And you're at three minutes of added on time in the first half. Nelson Tomato now. The cutback from Wolves! The cutback from Wolves was dangerous as the shot for him, the cutback was blocked. The rebound fell around Jimenez and he somehow scuffs it wide at the left hand post. Casper Schmeichel now goes along with the goal kick again looking for Prince. And um, Wolves win the header though, Johnny Dendonka into Jimenez. Into the advanced position. Dendonka, Neves, back to Dendonka, and what a save from Kasper Schmeichel on the cusp of our time, and Wolves have just about enough time to hit this corner. Roman Neves whips the ball and towards the front post, played by Leicester, 
poor dance floor. Poor dance floor, half time, but do anything as the half time whistle sounded. And it's less, and the first half finishes. Less than one. Wolves won. Right then, I'm looking at half time. I don't see, think we need to make any subs, really. Uh, and. Yeah, I don't think we really need any subs um, at half time. Will Wolves get us back underway now for the second half? Martinez finds Neves. Ruben Neves down on a lovely solo run. Kai can it be halted? Neves, Neves opts for Jimenez instead. Then Donker now. Good tackling there by Leicester. Johnny Evans finds Prince. Oh, good tackling there by um, Wolves though. Neto. Then Donker. Good tackling there by Johnny Evans, but then Wolves have it back. Neves, I think that wasn't Jimenez. Good tackling there by Leicester and Chilwell clears. Before Jimmy Vardy can turn past his man though, Wolves have it back. Ruben Neves now. Good blocking there by Leicester, but he's given a handball for that. I oh yeah, I've got to mention I've got a handball on. I think he's getting a handball. Let me just check that. I mean, it will be a handball because there's no other way he could have given it. Uh, 